Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how I got this braided look in under 30 minutes. Yep, just half an hour. But did I mention my hair isn't actually braided? This was literally the easiest style I've ever done. You don't need to know how to braid, you don't need a lot of materials, and you don't need a lot of time. Plus, you could switch it up with different colors. I mean, come on, sis. So let me tell you what you do need. You're gonna need a hat. I chose a beret because I wanted that poetic justice look. You're gonna need a glue gun. Let's wait for her to finish. Some Velcro. And lastly, you're gonna need some box braids. I saved this hair from a previous style I did, but you can buy some crochet braids and it would be the same thing. All right, let's get started. The first step is gluing some braids onto the Velcro. So cut a piece of Velcro that can wrap around your head comfortably with about two inches of overlap. Then you're gonna glue the box braids onto the back of the Velcro. So separate the two pieces of Velcro, the hard part and the soft part. Take the hard part, flip it over to the smooth side, and that's where you're gluing the braiding hair. It'll all make sense towards the end, don't worry. Keep gluing the braids onto the velcro until you get to about 6 inches away from the edge. That space is going to be for your forehead, so plan accordingly. Now we're going to work on the hat. You don't want it to fit too tight, so you're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. And then double check that the soft part of the velcro fits around the inside. It's kind of hard to explain, but my Velcro was a little too long. I think my head is just big. So this is how I glued it on to account for that extra length. I just do this until the Velcro fits all the way around the inside. And remember, you're gluing the soft piece of Velcro onto the inside of the hat. Because the hard part of the Velcro and natural hair, nah, they got beef, sis. They do not go together. Remember to keep trying on the hat as you go because you want to make sure this thing still fits you. I made the mistake of waiting to the end to try it on and it was too tight. Thankfully the hot glue is kind of forgiving so I was able to rip it off and start over again. But you want to fit it as you go or you're going to have some problems. And if you have a big head like I do, stretching on it and pulling on it as you go is going to help too. So once you're done gluing, this is how the inside of the hat should look. The soft part of the Velcro should be facing inside. And then we could start on the fun part, which is attaching the braids. The first time you're connecting the hairpiece and the hat, you're going to want to take the hairpiece and wrap that around your head just to make sure everything lines up and the hair is where you want it to be. Then you're going to take a small piece of soft Velcro and I'm going to use that to connect the two ends and make sure it stays in place on my head. Now you're going to take the hat and attach it to the hair piece, which is pretty simple. You're just making sure the two pieces of Velcro line up and everything is covered. You want it to be very seamless, especially around the front and in the back, you want to make sure you tuck your hair in. If you've been measuring as you go, the hat should be pretty secure, like it's not going anywhere, sis. 
Just as a point of reference, I wanted to show you guys what the hat looks like once you take it off. At this point, it's just grab and go. But if you want to take it to the next level, sis, get some other braids, maybe a different color, or maybe you could do some twists and repeat the process. Now you can interchange the two hair pieces. And just like that, you got another hairstyle. Boom. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't be shy around here. Leave me a comment, even if it's just to say hi, what's up. And I'll see you in the next one.